Hi there. Today I'm going to go through one of these cognitive reflection test questions. And they're great questions because the most obvious answer is not correct. And the question is, Jerry received the 15th highest and the 15th lowest mark in the class. How many students are in the class? Now, if you want to think about the answer, press the pause button in the bottom left hand corner. Otherwise, I'm going to go straight into the answer. And the usual answer people come up with is there must be 30 in the class. If he's the 15th highest and the 15th lowest, then you've got to add those two uh, numbers together to come up with 30 in the class. And because that's the most obvious answer, then it's obviously not going to be correct. And I've done this grid here on this piece of paper to show you um, how to calculate how many students there are in the class. And this is uh, students in order in their class, in their mark order in the test. And this is the black numbers down the bottom of this uh, line. So we've got the, the highest mark, the first student, then the second highest, the third highest, fourth highest, fifth highest, right through to the 15th, which is Jerry. And then we go right through to the end to the 29th. Um, 29th uh, mark in the class, 29th position, or the, which, is, which ends up being the lowest um, mark in the class, and that, that's actually the answer, that there's 29 students in the class. And we know there from the, uh, the test, uh, from the question, that Jerry is the 15th highest, so there's Jerry there. But Jerry is also the 15th lowest, so if we're saying that there's only 29 students in the class to prove that, then if we start here and count back from 29, and when we get to 15, we should get to Jerry. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14th, 15th. So there's Jerry again at the 15th, the lowest mark in the class. And he's uh, right in the middle. So that means that uh, there's only 29 students in the class. And because Jerry, you know, he can't be in, uh, Jerry's only one person and he can't be in two positions in the class. He's got to be there at the 15th highest and he's got to be there at the 15th lowest and so there can only be, there can't be 30 students in the class, there's got to be one less than 30 which is 29. So the correct answer there is that there is 29 students in the class. Okay, thanks, bye.